Hey guys, RC here, back with a new Journeyman Save Football Manager 19. So we've wrapped up our uh, save uh, in England. Uh, we finished off with West Brom. We went through three clubs over 99 episodes. And so we are back. We're going to do a true journeyman this time. And it's going to be a South American journeyman. So what I have done is I've gone in and I have downloaded uh, a South American database, which gives us some lower level clubs. And so some clubs that just aren't in the game uh, in the vanilla version of Football Manager. And so here we are, South America, Argentina, Chile, Peru, Ecuador. Uh, I will probably butcher names, deal with it. Uh, so let's, I've accepted a job. So I started unemployed. I applied for low level jobs, advanced. I got 150 emails. Uh, I plowed through those and I said, there's no way in hell I'm applying for 150 jobs. So I started at the beginning. I, I applied for about 15 jobs, just every single one. And then I said, yeah, I need to be a little more picky. So I went in, I was looking for professional level clubs. Honestly, I don't even know what I ended up with. I've just, you know, I've, I've, uh, <laughs> I've, I've selected a team, the first team to offer me a job. Uh, I figure in a true journeyman, 24 year old coach. Of course, I'm not 24. Hello. Uh, <laughs> not even double 24. Hello. Go north. Uh, anyway, uh, I figured beggars couldn't be choosers, so we took the first job that came in. And uh, so we are employed. We have a one-year deal making uh, $41,000 a year, so not too bad. Uh, so let's dial in here a little bit. So we are in Venezuela to start things off. Uh, I have loaded the uh, – Five countries in Central America, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. At least I've loaded those if they were available in the game. I, I know there were a couple of them. Costa Rica for one. Uh, Honduras, I think, was in there. Nicaragua may not have been. I did not load Mexico or the United States. Uh, so, anyway, we've loaded all the countries in South America. Uh, Guyana, uh, French Guiana, <laughs> Jim Jones, um, and uh, Suriname. That's not the original name of that country, is it? Geography. I'm not bad at geography for most of the world. You start getting into some of like the Eastern Bloc countries. I lose track over there just because borders and Africa borders have changed so much over the decades. Um, but typically I'm pretty good with geometry, but that's not the original name of that country, is it? I don't remember what it used to be, but it used to be something else. Anyway, uh, those three countries I don't believe are in the game. Uh, the major ones are, but we're here in Venezuela. You can see we are on the eastern half of Venezuela. And if we dial in a little closer... Uh, we are in the Boliv Bolivar, I think it's the Bolivar area, uh, is the state within Venezuela. And the governmental seat, I believe, is, yes, uh, Bolivar. That's the, that's the state. And then El, El Calo is the, uh, I believe, the name. Are we a little farther out? That one's not coming up. But anyway, it's El, El Calau is the town. And then if we dial in here, I think this is, oh, there it is right there, El Calau. Uh, this is the governmental seat. So, uh, you know, we are in in, in the, the wooded area. I don't know exactly uh, what that means. But uh, we see uh, a little outline of a city here, a little town, at least a little town. I the population is not immense. I have done some research. I put it on my thumbnail and promptly forgot it. Um, 24,000, something like that in the area. But right here in the heart of the town is Hector Thomas Stadium, if we get a little closer. Uh, I did, <laughs> this is my new gaming computer that I got uh, 
for Christmas. Uh, so I'm recording this uh, here in June. So it's about six months old. Um, I, I have not downloaded uh, Google Chrome yet. I use Firefox for my primary browser. Um, so I wanted to download Google Earth because it forced me to download Chrome and then it wouldn't load. And then it said, well, you can't use DirectX 10. You've got to disable that. And I'm like, I'm not screwing around with all my settings uh, for Google Earth. Sorry. So Google, you can kiss my ass. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, so here we are. Uh, I do not speak Spanish. So I'm a turistico. I'm a tourist. Uh, so forgive me in advance uh, for butchering names, not just in this club, but anywhere else that we go in South America. We'll give it our best shot. We'll give it the old college try, you know. Um, but here we are, Hector Thomas Stadium. Well, Unfortunately, Google Earth looks a hell of a lot better, but there's the stadium right here. Uh, so we are liking it. We'll try to pull up some, well, it doesn't look great, does it? But anyway, that's Hector Thomas right there. So, you know, you, you kind of have this little traffic circle going around it uh, right off the plaza here. Um, I don't know how major these roads are. Um, Got to remember, I live in Houston with about 8 million people in a confined area, probably smaller than uh, Bolivar. Uh, so, um, you know, I'm used to six and eight lane interstate system highways and, you know, tens of thousands of vehicles at any given time on any given street. Uh, so anyway, the Plaza Boulevard. If you guys know anything, if you are a, uh, so anyway, Hector Thomas. So what does this mean? Uh, well, let's start. Let's look at the pitch, see if we can find pictures of the pitch. There we are. Well, it has grass and dirt. That's awesome. We can go cool off uh, by the side of the pool. Oh, we have a stand. Nice. So we do have a stand with a little covered area for some shade. I like it. It seats 5,000 people, so pretty good start. I guess they don't pay for tickets. Oh, here we go. There's a wide shot. Okay, so this is from the stands, so nothing on the other side. So kind of like a high school stadium, just with less grass. Cool deal. Love architecture. That's something I love when I travel, uh, when I'm lucky enough to travel. Uh, I love architecture, so that's good. Uh, is that the bank? You make your depo deposit. Uh, please tell me it's not the bathroom. Basura? I have no idea. No idea. Deposit of something in El, Ca El Calau. All right, so there's our, there's our uh, <laughs> is this the training pitch? That's awesome. So you have the pitch out here and then the training pitch right around on the, this side of the running track. Sweet. Uh, anything else looking good? Uh, one of the one, you know, one of the plazas da down the side. Cool. We'll probably be eating there a lot. I have not read the rules. I have no idea what I'm in for. Uh, I'm not even sure what's changed because of the uh, is that the local beer cool hi some of our fans I'm looking for the stadium here all right little hill over here at least they have the wall around it you know and it's a solid wall so you can't see through it and spy like in England <laughs> all right well we're gonna call that good so let's close that here we are hector thomas stadium 5,000 seat capacity we are at minnesota football club stadium condition very poor i didn't say that that's what the game's telling me uh no undersoil heating no roof it does have grass at least it doesn't say some the field's perfect. 
that's a bit optimistic based on the pictures, but okay. Uh, fairly basic corporate facilities, poor training, no data analysis, poor youth, minimal junior coaching, limited youth recruitment. So if we take a look at the club itself, they are in the Tessera Division de Venezuela. And this is the number 33 out of 36 leagues in South America that I have loaded. So that's good. We have a local reputation founded in 1958. If you're a Motley Crue fan, what Motley Crue member was born in 1958? Tattoo on his knuckles. Bass player Nikki Six. That's right. You got it. Uh, professional. I was happy about that. We are a professional club. Fairly loyal. Poor facilities all the way around the board. Finances are three-star okay. And we are actually valued at $10,000. $410. There were several clubs that we interviewed at that were $860, $342. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, very poor. What else do we have on the club? General information. The owner loves the club, $8 tickets, 60, 62 season ticket holders. Thank you to you, 62. Uh, we appreciate it. Hopefully we get more. No legends because this is a lower league that was just added in, so this club did not exist or does not exist in Football Manager 19 without the mob. So uh, let's see. General news. Oh, uh well, we'll get into the projections, but we are picked second. Uh, they hired me. I'm 24 years old to start the game. The way that I foresee this transpiring, uh, I was looking up some of the journeyman rules uh, or, or guidelines, and one of them was to not take a job unless they approach you. Um... That's possible. Uh, it will limit opportunities because, you know, going into the job center, looking at, a, you know, appropriate level jobs for us. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think about that. Do you want me to go ahead and apply for jobs as I think that I deserve one? Or do you want me to wait to be approached? Because evidently that's a journeyman challenge uh, to make it a little bit harder. Uh, the other thing I was... I was contemplating, if you if you go back to my last saves, uh, I had done a director of football challenge, and then I cut that one short. Um, I was very interested in doing that again, but I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign my own players. Again, if you view this video, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and, you know, I'll take it under advisement. Uh, at the end of the day, I I do what I want to do because I'm the one playing it and I have to have fun and I have to be vested into the game so I don't quit playing. Because uh, if, do, if I'm doing stuff that I don't like to do, then I'm going to lose interest. And then, you know, you guys go, hey, you haven't uploaded in a week. Uh, and, you know, typically I don't miss any uploads. Uh, so anyway, that's what's going on there. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about those two things. Uh, there is our facilities. We have no affiliate clubs. You know what? Let's look for a senior affiliate. Cool. They, yes, they did it. They, they said yes. All right, so they're searching for a senior affiliate. And again, there is no history. They don't have any, they don't have anything. So, you know, they are a, a brand new club for all intents and purposes, even though they were founded in 1958. They just, there's nothing in the game. So that's just how it goes. Uh, we don't even have a best 11. Uh, let's take a quick look at our squad. Everybody's grayed out, so these are unknown players, with one exception. This is our one good player. 
and he's not bad. He's not bad. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to be normal at this level. It takes me a little time to kind of get used to it. But uh, this is our striker. He's 22. He is homegrown from Venezuela. Uh, 13 pace, 11 acceleration, 5 foot 11, no strength. Um, so that's not what I'm used to in, in, in Europe. Um, but, you know, we'll play a little different here. Uh, anticipation, composure, decisions. I like off the ball. Not real good with his penalty taking. Uh, he can head the ball well. First touch, finishing, dribbling. So he, I expect him to score some goals. Uh, and that's Raimundo Lular, Lunar or Lunar. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll if you if you know if you want to correct my my pronunciation, feel free. I won't pay any attention because once I have a pronunciation in my head, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, he came to us uh, from Real Frontera. Uh, looks like he didn't play for a whole year. That's too bad. I am guessing, so just to kind of, so that's the club we're at. Let's talk a little bit. No matches in this episode. This is just to introduce you guys uh, to the club and, what's go, and what we're going to be doing. So uploads are Monday, Wednesday, Friday for Football Manager. Uh, we'll typically do two games per episode, so they're about 30 minutes in length. Um, we... Uh, I've loaded in all of the South American countries with the exception of Chile. Uh, and that's because in the database that I got, there were evidently some issues with Chile. And I actually had started the season and was interviewing and the game glitched and it was on an interview in Chile. So I just said, well, I'm going to take Chile out. So they're the only country in South America that's in the game that we don't have. Um, can we? Yeah, we can go look. So, okay, so we have Argentina. Uh, and then we have other countries, uh, you know, because I, I figure South America is a selling country. If you get wonder kids or kids that are very good, they're going to end up being in high demand in England and other parts of the world. And that's how you'll make your money by selling. So Argentina, South America, Belgium, Belize, Central America, Bolivia, Brazil. Uh, I did put Chile in, but I, I didn't use the database when I, I used the default. No, I did. I just didn't apply for jobs there. So scratch that. Chile is in there. I will not take a job in Chile just because of this issue uh, with the database in Chile. So I'm just going to stay away from there. Uh, we have Colombia, Costa Rica, another Central America, Ecuador, El Salvador, another Central America, England, Germany, Guatemala, the Dutch, uh, Ireland, Italy, Paraguay, per Peru, Portugal, Scotland, Spain, Uruguay, Venezuela. So we have about 79,000 players. Uh, game speed is going to be... Tune down a little more than I like. I usually like to keep that at three star, but I wanted all the major European powers to be available for selling. Uh, I do not have the U.S., do not have Mexico. Uh, so anyway, those are the leagues that are there. What else? Uh, take a look at my profile. So, uh, you know, very basic. Uh, a little bit of knowledge of youngsters, technical and working with youngsters. Uh, I'm from the U.S., so you you know the U.S. is where my experience level is. Uh, nobody care, nobody knows who I am, which is fine. Uh, let's see, uh, contract uh, forty one thousand per year, thirty three thousand after taxes. Um, you know, I don't mind taking a pay cut for the job, I guess, uh, to uh, get started. And uh, we are in the early preseason. Not exactly sure when the season starts, but it expires January 31st, 2019. And I don't know what that means. Does that mean they have, if a club wants to hire me, 
they've got to pay a forty thousand dollar fee i think that's what that means so not sure what i'm going to do with the squad uh, i have already put an advertisement out for an assistant manager and a general manager uh, we will get started on there waiting for that to come in uh, the first match is in 33 days uh, let's see so we have that's not a long well so, yeah i guess it's okay we do have some friendlies uh starting january 13th so that's in about it's in about four weeks uh, the season does not start until April 20th. That's odd. There's got to be some other stuff that pops up in here. There's something about uh, like state tournaments or something. Uh, not exactly sure how that works, but we can take a quick look at the rules. And again, these rules may not be real life uh, if you're familiar with this area because it is from a custom built database that somebody else made. So there's 48 teams. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah, there's something, okay, we're, looks like, oh, we're, we were relegated last season. So we are picked to finish 18th this year. Okay. Um, three points for a win, one for a draw. That's standard. 20 matches. We play each other four times. 20 games, four times. So we're broken down into... Five team, groups of five. So that's that must be the Tercera division. Uh, we're uh, um, um, hello. <laughs> okay, so we okay we're in a group. So I'm not sure how this works out. We'll figure it out though. Seven subs named, typical. Three used, typical. No player restrictions, so I don't think you have to have a goalkeeper. Goal differential, head-to-head -head results, goals scored. B teams are not allowed to be promoted. Top team qualifies for the playoff. Bottom team is relegated. Two yellow cards get you a ban. One match ban after that per yellow card. Oh my God, I'm going to have players suspended for the whole season because I played very attacking, getting stuck in. Um, oh my God, that's going to be horrible. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't usually have... Have you ever seen that? Striking another player or, or striking an official? I haven't seen that in the game. That would be so, so weird. How would you code that? All right, so transfer window is November 26th to February 16th, and then July 2nd to July 27th. So we're in the transfer window now. Okay, so, he, so we are in... We're in one of these divisions. There we are. Okay, so we're in group H. So yeah, six teams. We play each each of, each of the five teams four times a piece. And then top one gets promoted, bottom one gets relegated. And then this, I believe, somehow ties into another season, I think is how that works. But basically, they do. From what somebody told me, in fact, let me let me see if I can read the uh, read the insight that somebody gave me. I actually posed a question. 
All right, the most obvious peculiarity of South America is the relegation system based on average points from the previous season. Huge squads, absolutely immense. Okay, so that's not helping me any. It doesn't look like there's anything. There we go. There's nothing... Group H. Okay. And then the playoff. So there's no player restrictions here. Promotion playoff. Winning team gets promoted to the Segunda Division. Segunda Division is 24th. Right? Okay, so 24th, and currently we're in the Tessera division, which is 33rd. Top division is Brazil's National First Division, Argentina's Superliga, and the Chilean First Division is third. So, these are where we want to get in South America. Um, I was privileged enough in my youth to meet Pele for a few minutes, uh, but I got a few minutes uninterrupted of his time and attention, and that sticks with me to this very day, you, you know, decades later. Um, so while I don't know a ton about the leagues, the teams, the makeup. Uh, the one thing I do know is Brazil National First Division and the club Santos because that's who Pele played for. So my dream team in this, in this uh, journeyman is going to be Santos. So that's the ultimate goal is to get there. Um or at least get into the Brazilian NFD. However, we have to get there. So we're starting, starting down here at 33 and we want to work our way up. So that's, that's the goal is to eventually work our way up into, you know, Syria, Ecuador, honor division in Paraguay, Colombian, Chile, Argentina, Brazil. Uh, you know, just like if you were in Europe, starting off in the, you know, the Bonorama and then eventually ending up in the championship and then the, you know, or, or you know, ending up in, in La Liga, uh, Serie A, you know, what, what, what have you, or the Premier League. So that's the goal. We are going to limit ourselves only to South America. We'll see how long we go. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the save. Um Pound the like button because and, and comment. The more likes, the more comments uh, on the first episode lets more people know about it. And, you know, that's going to get more eyes to, to the channel, to the clubs in South America that may not get a lot of exposure. And what the hell, we'll give it a shot. So thank you very much, and we will see you guys for our first match in the next episode. Take care. Bye.